Lash, and I'm here at the Hub Culture Pavilion in Davos at the World Economic Forum. Really pleased to be joined by Herminia Ibarra. Thank you so much for coming along. Thank you. Professor mm -hmm. at INSEAD, Organizational Behavior. Now, I know you've just come from a, uh, a session that you were quite excited about. Tell me about that. Well, I went to the conversation with Jack Ma, uh, which was mobbed. Uh -huh. uh, there, there were huge crowds. I had to stand and wait to get mm -hmm. in, but I managed it. And, um, you know, the thing that struck me just off the bat was the audience was so different. It was so diverse. You know, we hear often, especially when it comes to business and economics, that you don't have a diverse crowd at, at, at Davos. You don't see enough women, mm -hmm. younger people, millennials, people from the East, you know. And this crowd, they were there. All, everybody mm -hmm. was mixed. You had all ages, all colors, men, women, and they were all excited and really inspired by Jack Ma. Tell me about diversity here at, at Davos. I actually think the forum's doing an incredible job. At I do too. I do too. I have followed the progress of it. I've been involved uh, mm -hmm. with the Global Agenda Council on Women's Empowerment. I've seen the efforts that have been made, the progress that has been made, but no window dressing, no compromising on the yeah. people they want here, and always looking to further the long-term agenda, not just who's at Davos this year. So I'm really pleased with how that's gone. So I know that you, INSEAD is located just uh, south of Paris. What are your reflections on the atrocities that have happened recently? Yeah, um, it really is uh, a soul-searching time in France. And, and uh, honestly, it, it reminded me of the foundation of INSEAD uh, after World War II, where um, business people from different countries in Europe decided that they needed to band together and create a global business network uh, to really come together, not just for economic might, but for the good of the world and to prevent that kind of polarization from happening again. And I really do believe and hope we'll hear François Hollande say mm -hmm that economic growth and economic opportunity is a big part of the answer to this growing problem in France. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming along to the Davos Pavilion here in Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do that ending again? Uh, sure. Sorry, I, I don't know where I was going. <laughs> I never <laughs> said that before in my life. <laughs> Let's go. Sorry. Thank you so much for coming along to the Hub Culture Pavilion here in Davos, and I'm Edie Lush. Thank you.